Along the border between Nepal and India, there runs a strip of rainforests which alternate with the meadows of the lowlands. Open jungle whose floor, rich in pasture, provides food for many species of herbivores. After Africa, these forests possess the greatest variety of animal species in the world. And nonetheless, due to their inaccessibility, they remain virtually unknown. Large deer, such as the sambars, are the food of the king of the shadows. The presence of the Bengal tiger means the herbivores of the jungle must constantly be on the alert. Danger is ever present. The pattern of the skin of this great feline forms part of the landscape as it hunts for the meat it needs to maintain its almost 300 kilos of striped body. But the tiger is not the only giant of these forests. On the intense green ground, there is an animal which not even he would dare to attack. The gore. Weighing 1,000 kilos, it is the largest wild bovine in the world. A ton of bad temper standing up to two meters tall. The gores not only have nothing to fear from the tigers, but will even trample them down if one crosses the path of the herd. A less violent way to escape from the tiger is to climb up into the higher levels of the jungle. This is precisely what the langurs do. In India, these animals are sacred as in their religion they are related to the monkey god, Hanuman. These primates are exclusively vegetarian, specialized in the consumption of leaves. Such a poor diet that they are forced to be constantly on the move across the roof of the jungle in search of a decent tree. More nutritious than leaves are these large flowers on which the hummingbirds feed. These birds are experts at extracting the sweet nectar contained inside the corollas along with the tiny insects that seek refuge there. Their constant visits carry the pollen from one flower to another, pollinating them and so contributing to keeping the forest alive. All these biological marvels were already here 2,000 years ago when the first travelers spoke of this land as a magical place inhabited by fantastic creatures, above all one in particular, the unicorn. Its horn, which they called an alicornis, was a sure antidote to any poison which it immediately detected and neutralized. This made it greatly desired by kings and noblemen, always afraid of being poisoned. Some of them offered vast fortunes in exchange for one. Romans and Greeks spread the myth and thanks to a translation by Luther, it entered the Bible itself where it is quoted seven times. The Roman Ilianus speaks of the Cartazon, a term taken from the Sanskrit Cartajan, which means Lord of the Jungle, and Pliny the Elder calls it Monoceros, with the head of a deer, the feet of an elephant, and the tail of a pig. But without a doubt, the most important description was that of the Roman Julius Solinus, who defines it as a monster with a terrible roar and a horn springing from the center of its forehead of marvelous splendor, four feet in length, and which can never be caught alive.
The chronicler's description was not far from reality. The myth lives here, and it is the Indian rhinoceros. Its means of defense was in fact imported into Europe until the end of the 18th century as unicorn horns, to be used as remedies for a wide range of illnesses, and this belief still continues in traditional Asian medicine. Its leathery skin was also used for defense by men in the form of shields for the soldiers. This armor plating protects them from attacks by tigers. Thank you.